lot going in bird lady here I gotta get used to saying it because I just rebranded my channel so I gotta get used to saying that but you may see Casper I got my main one of my main guys Casper here with me Danny's over there doing whatever he does um, he's in the play area so I want to come today and first of all with this video thank you so much guys I do not really monitor how many subscribers that I have and the last time now I got almost 500 so thank you so much guys whatever you want to see on this channel please let me know like I said I've been doing a lot of stuff and I'm rebranding the channel so you're gonna see a lot of new things excuse the glare on my glasses yeah I know it's there but I that's my way I can't make sure I'm focused without my glasses so I apologize but today I just wanted to come and do a video a lot of people have been asking about Casper and I wanted to come and do a video with him just to show you guys his progress let you know how everything is going um where the tip yesterday was um made officially three months since i have adopted him and he is you heard that didn't you yeah you heard that it scared you he is an amazing amazing bird um he's not like regular cockatoos he's not like regular cockatoos at all he doesn't have that really energetic quirky type personality how you see him now is how he is most of the time now he can get really really loud and to put this out i'm gonna take my glasses off because this um glare is kind of bothering me um, i just want to put this disclaimer out here if you are thinking about getting a cockatoo um do a lot of research because just because you see casper being really really quiet and really really calm this is not common of most cockatoos there are some cockatoos that are really really mellow mellow but i looked up and i'm extremely blessed that i and i was prepared for this really wild crazy bird he's not at all like that and i think that that has a lot to do with him being abused prior to me um adopting him i really think that that has a lot to do with why he's so calm and so chill and so mellow it's because you know he came from a bad situation now he can get really really loud it took me about a week i think before i heard how loud he can really be and i was in the kitchen and i was cooking and he started screaming and it scared me because if you've never heard a cockatoo scream it's like a person is being murdered it sounds literally like a person when they scream so um yeah he can be loud at times but we pretty much have his um volume to i i'm saying we like someone lives with me i guess me and him we pretty much have his volume down to a minimum because when he does get really really loud i will not return in the room like i <laughs> one night i thought i was gonna freeze to death because it was really really cold and i ran outside to the car i didn't have any shoes on and when i went outside on my way back in he started screaming for me so i stayed outside until he stopped screaming so it was probably about three to five minutes that I was outside with him just screaming. I'm like, I'm not going in because if I go in, that's going to let him know, hey, if I scream, she's going to come to me. That's going to reinforce it. So he's doing really, really well. Um, I am in love with him. If you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I put the links in the description box. Please follow me and then you'll get to see more of our antics. And a lot of people say that I um, treat Casper different from Danny because I have so many pictures of Casper and I together, but what they have to understand is Danny is a is a lot more independent than Casper is. Like I'm doing this video now, Casper's on the cargo rope having a ball, just playing, you know, just having himself a good time. Casper has to be right here with me, as you can see. He had as long as he's close to me, he's fine. Like I can't even go to the bathroom without him. And I know this is probably too TMI, but I'm just letting you know how the relationship is. I can't even go to the bathroom without him coming to find me. Like I, I literally know to leave the bathroom door open, which I do anyway because I leave, I live alone. But eventually, when I go to the bathroom, he's gonna come in there, and depending on how long I'm in there, and sit, sit on my feet that's just how he is he's a very clingy bird and so that's why it's not that i treat casper better or i show casper more attention it's just because casper is a lot is a really clingy bird and danny is not um i've taken him to a park and i've taken him to um uh, on a little hiking trail he's done really really well i'm just rehabilitating him just getting him used to seeing people being around people before we do any major hiking trips <coughs> but 
with that being said, this is just an update on Casper. I will be doing a video right after this one um, with some tips on cockatoos, just strictly on cockatoos. So this is an update on him. So stay tuned to the next video and it will be just strictly talking about cockatoos in general. Thank you guys for watching. As usual, toodaloo. Bye-bye.